Story The story of the papaya tree or papai saves his child with a sweet, ripe yellow fruit. Once upon a time, in a mountainous village in Benguet Province, Philippines, there was a couple who were always the subject of gossip among the neighbors. They make a living by harvesting rice. Of the two, Papai's wife always works hard while Bantawan's husband is extremely lazy. Mrs. Papai often plows and harvests rice in the fields while Mr. Bantawan stays at home. Their lives go on like that for a while. Then, on the day Mrs. Papai gave birth, she had to temporarily stop her work. One day when the family ran out of rice, she told her husband to go to work so she could stay home and take care of their newly born child. Bantawan, we're out of rice, so I think you should go work in the fields, Mrs. Papai said to her husband. However, her husband just shrugged and continued to sleep. Poor Papai, she had no choice but to go to work herself. She woke up, left her child at home with her lazy husband and went out to the rice fields. She worked hard all day. That night, when Mrs. Papai did not come home, the neighbors searched everywhere for her. They felt sorry for the newborn baby. He kept crying for his mother's milk but Mrs. Papai still hadn't come home. They searched for her everywhere, wherever she could go that day, from the foot of the hill to the top of the hill. Dot. Dot. It was late, a man in the search group fell asleep because he was so tired. Dot. I have a dream. He dreamed of a tree in the middle of a field talking to him. I am the lost mother. Give my fruit to the precious little child I left behind. The child will live if you let him eat this fruit, the tree told him in his dream. The next day he woke up and told his neighbors about his dream. The neighbors did not hesitate, they immediately headed towards the place in the man's dream. Standing tall in the middle of the field is a strange tree with wide foliage and heavy fruits. That's right. This is Papai, the neighbors exclaimed. They observed the fruits, they had an oblong shape. Some were still green but a few had turned bright yellow. The yellow fruits are ripe and can be eaten. Everyone then picked ripe fruits and went to Papai's house to feed the baby. The baby survived and continued to rely on fruit to survive. Since then, the tree of unknown origin that appeared in the middle of that field grew rapidly and produced more and more delicious and sweet fruits. No wonder the child liked to eat it. And because the tree told the man in his dream that he was his missing mother, the neighbors decided to call this strange tree papai. Years passed, the papai tree became papaya. From this first papaya tree many other papaya trees were born. That is also the fruit with many health benefits that we still eat today. Thank you for joining us for today's fairy tale. We hope these stories bring joy and meaning to your day. If you love our channel, please hit the subscribe button so you won't miss any exciting tales. Wishing you a good night and sweet dreams. See you in the next story.